Hi, fourth grade. Today we are going to be taking a little pause from our usual lessons to get creative. So these last few lessons, we have been talking about the calm down steps for when a big strong emotion is coming up. Do you remember those calm down steps? Hmm. Hmm. It goes a step, step name, name the feelings, feelings, and calm down. I hope you remember those. We also talked about different ways to calm those emotions down. Do you remember any of those ways? One is my favorite way, which is belly breathing. That slow breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Another way is by counting. You can count sheep, numbers, cats, green beans, ice cream cones, whatever you want. And you can't forget positive self-talk. So saying good things to yourself to feel better, or maybe you take your brain and go on a mini vacation to your happy place. Also talking to a trusted adult or friend about how you are feeling can really help as well. Or maybe you have some different ways um, that helps you out. Writing, drawing, playing video games, hanging out with your friends or your pets could be some. Yeah, maybe it's listening to music or watching TV. There are a lot of different healthy ways to calm down. And today we are going to put our favorite way down on paper. We are going to be drawing comics. So a comic, um, it's a picture or pictures that tell a story. And this comic is going to have six panels meaning there are six spaces to draw your story. Um, and yes, one of those spaces can be a title. This story is going to be about a time you or a character you made up felt a strong emotion in what you or they do to calm down. Mm -hmm. So these are mine and Mrs. Marissa's comics. Yes. So my comic is about a jealous snowman. So like we said, you could, the first one can be your title page. And so the situation going on here is there's two snowmen. One has like a, I think I did a navy blue hat and one has a green hat. Navy blue hat is saying in his head, so he's using some negative self-talk, he's saying his hat is way cooler than mine, which causes him to say to the other snowman, give me your hat, punk. Then green hat says, no. So then those are some strong emotions going on. And we got to do step one, which is your stop signal. So the navy blue hat uh, snowman is saying, stop. I need to chill out because he's a snowman. Step two, naming the feeling. So navy blue hat is saying, I feel jealous. And then of course, you got to move on to step three, which is calming down. So navy blue hat snowman is counting to take his mind off his jealousy. He's also using his positive self-talk. He's saying, my hat is cool too. My grandma got it for me. Then he's doing some belly breathing with his little stick arms. Aww. And then now that he's nice and calm, he says to the snowman with the green hat, I'm sorry, you aren't a punk. And then <laughs> green hat is saying, it's okay. <laughs> nice, nice job, Mrs. Vanessa. Thank you. Good work. And this is my sixth panel. I got a little too into it. It's called Nap Time Scare. And it's about my cat, Zed, and our neighborhood cat, Todio. So little Zed is taking a nap on the couch. Z, sleeping, whatever. And Todio, the neighborhood cat, decides he's going to come scare him. And he's like, boo, ha, ha, ha. So in this one, ah, Zed yelled. He was scared and then mad. How dare Todio do that? And then call him names. So it said screaming and Todio's like, ha, ah, scaredy cat. You get that because they're cats. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is Zed and Zed is mad. Zed wanted to scare Todio back and call him names. I'll show him. 
but we know that revenge is not the best medicine. So Zed decided he's going to calm himself down and he closed his eyes and he said, stop, I'm feeling angry. And he does a nice breath. And then in the last scene, Zed felt better. He decided he wasn't going to let Todio bother him. And he said, not worth getting mad. And he goes back to bed. <laughs> good job miss sarah yeah really into it <laughs> um so what would your comic look like all you have to do is find a piece of paper and something to draw with could be pen pencil markers crayons whatever you got mm -hmm. um and write about a character that has a strong emotion and needs to calm themselves down so they don't say or do something that will get them in trouble like calling the other snowman a punk uh -huh. You got it. And if you want to know how to fold your paper to create six panels, this is how. So you have your sheet of paper. You are going to fold it hot dog style in half. So it should look like this. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to take one third of that paper and fold it towards the center. And then you will take that other flap, the other third, and fold that towards the center and you will have a single square. And then when you take those apart, you should have three panels and then you're going to open it up and voila, you got six panels. Yes. And we can't wait to see what you guys come up with. We can't. Happy drawing.